The Calabar Carnival is arguably Africa's biggest street party. It has been described by experts as the pride of Nigeria tourism landscape. The Calabar Carnival Festival started back in 2004 when former Governor Donald Duke decided it would be the perfect way to boost tourism and the local economy of the state. His idea was to turn Cross River State into the number one tourist destination for Nigerians. Cross River State is known for tourism. And so how do you mean tourism? Tourism is a destination uh, approach. And so you must have something for people who visit to see. And for us in Calabar, December is one of such periods where we showcase exactly what we have in our culture, in our attire, in our dress. Successive governments have consolidated over the years. However, the Ayade administration has seen the need to create a sustainability model for the 15 years old carnival. The carnival attracts over 2 million visitors and indigents and it features participants from over 25 different countries. Hello, my name is Anastasia, I'm from Ukraine. My name is Mugenzi Jean-Marie, uh, I'm from Rwanda. Hello everybody, I'm Ivana and this is my team and we are all from Croatia. Hello, we are from Indonesia. My name is Sashanti and we are representing Mexico. The idea ultimately is that as the visitors keep coming, as we we'll come to see what Cross was saying, like the serenity, the peace, the fun, the culture, the way of life of our people, they'll be forced to make investment decisions. Today, you see during the International Carnival segment, Adrenaline by the spectators and by the performance because we have an electric community. The warmth and the energy of the 12 kilometer round is, can only be imagined. And yearly, our teeming tourists, potential tourists, they are all looking forward. There is also the Battle of the Bands and Street Parade which is broadcast to a television audience of around 50 million viewers globally. Speaking with officials of the carnival, they expressed optimism on the 2019 edition of the carnival, which has been tagged Humanity by Sir Professor Ben Ayadi government. The effect of the Calabar Festi Carnival and Festival has been quite uh, tremendous. Uh, going from uh, the upspring of business activities you know, that service humans during the festival. Some of them initially were like temporary businesses, but over time they became uh, permanent, such that they don't just serve the festival, but they serve Calabar across River State. We are expecting a very scholastic interpretation because the team itself is very intimidating and scholastic in nature. The various bands have been put to task and uh, we are watching out for a team delivery that will be that will appeal to the emotions and those sensibilities that as Africans we share. Governor Ben Ayadi has in the last five years insisted that the festival must be sustainable and contribute to the economic growth of the state. This year, Carnival, we're expecting fire. You know, this year, Carnival, like, it's supposed to be different from others. So we're looking forward to, you know, make it bigger than the last year. Well, as usual, I'm expecting it to be fun, you know, and colorful and amazing. I expect the carnival to be awesome, better than, better than last year. I'm expecting more this year, a lot of fun. Calabar, which is also known as Canaan City, is a city in south-south region of Nigeria. Calabar is actually the capital city of Krasheva State. Calabar sits adjacent to the Calabar and Great Kwa rivers, as well as the creeks of the Cross River. It is a city that exudes a green environment and very hospitable people. 
I'm advising people to take their leave from 1st of January because it's going to be a roller coaster of activities, non stop action, gearing up to the power week from 26th and all, you know. So let them go, spend money and have fun. Yes, as you make your way to Carnival Calabar, to the Asia City of Calabar, come well, come home. Come to where there is love. Come to where there is passion. Come to where there is sharing. And truly, after Canaan and Paradise, you are truly Africa's homeless world. But to say that there will be excitement, 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 excitement throughout this year in December. The Calabar Carnival is without a doubt the biggest, best, and longest tourism event in Africa.